what is up legends welcome back to another video very different to what we'll usually do we tried out the Vidator video there was a good reaction to that I'm slowly spinning in the wrong direction but I figured why not show you around a boat a yacht Yacht Show in Monaco, I was doing a bunch of Instagram content, my Instagram is going to be on the screen down below and I figured why not do a little YouTube video because maybe this interests you and we were lucky enough thanks to Super Yachts Monaco to be able to tour Joy Me, the yacht that we're on right now, she is a 50 meter motor yacht with very very particular taste so I thought I would show it to you because yeah you don't get to see this every day, any day really so why not show you around so currently I am sat on the owner's private terrace right here but we're actually going to start by going up to the top deck and then we're going to work our way down the only thing here is on the top deck there is a ton of wind so yeah maybe you're going to struggle a bit with the sound so i thought i'd start here but come up with me right so on the top deck there's a bar this boat was built for entertaining basically so you got the lights all around and then you got this lighting structure right here which is fairly niche and You've got a dance floor, which currently is occupied by two jet skis and a tender. There is, however, a crane to be able to lift these down, and then you can use this whole space as a dance floor. Come this way. However, a hot tub. Why not? So a massive hot tub here where you can feed, I don't know, like eight, nine people with couches on the side that you're going to hang out at. So this, when you're out at sea, must be pretty special. Anyways, let's go to see the rest of the boat. Come on. Nice little bar area as well. Oh, hello there. So, let's go out of the wind. I am no yacht expert, right? So I'm just kind of discovering this as you are. But I've been told that the layout of this boat amongst other things, is pretty particular. So this whole terrace is linked to basically an owner and owner's family's floor. So if you go through this door, if I find the button, ready, press a button, this door opens, you arrive in what is basically the owner's own personal lounge linked to the master cabin. So usually, a master cabin would be, you need to just got completely smashed by that door. <laughs> Mario's behind the camera. Wait, say hi Mario. Very kindly holding the camera for me. Usually, you'd have a master cabin being full beam. So that means across the whole width of the boat. Whereas on this one, it's split into two. So we'll go around this way first. This is the owner's bedroom. So a really nice, big double bed and it's facing out towards the side, which is pretty particular. Not that I would really know, this is what I've been told. I haven't been on that many boats um, of this size. So this seems very cool to me, but apparently it's usually not really like this. There is, however, a very, very cool bathroom. So this is the owner's bathroom with a bath, this pretty niche uh, curtain right here, <laughs> and a double shower. Never seen a double shower before. Pretty sick. Anyways, double shower. Then when you come around this way, there is another cabin. So this one's a twin. So two smaller beds, single beds, with, again, another little uh, bathroom around this end, all finished in red as well. Um, and this is for the owner's kids. So they basically have a floor, which is for the family. So whenever they're entertaining, all the guests can be down on one floor, and then the owner and his family can be here. So it has a you know, pretty particular look. I mean, even just look at the finishes on um, yeah, all the walls, the staircase, everything. But uh, yeah, every boat has to stand out, I guess. It is for sale through Super Yachts Monaco um, for, yes, close to 10 million. I think it's around 9 million, something like that. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of money, but mm. very nice boat, very big boat. Indeed. Oh, little toilet here. Look at this. Sink set up. Sink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty, pretty niche. Okay, down these stairs. Everything's so soft and everything does feel pretty quality. 
Now, this is the uh, guest area. Look at this corridor. Feels like the corridor in a nightclub. But it leads to all of the various rooms, and each room has its theme. So, you know, this is kind of, I guess, kids' kind of colorful playroom area. The kids will kind of go come here and watch TV often. There's a nice big TV. There is a nice big bathroom with a big, rainfall shower. Red leather on the door. <laughs> then you come through the second room, and the second room is more of a red Moulin Rouge kind of theme. Oh, I just remembered that the thing we're going to show on the bottom in a little bit at the end of the video. It's going to be pretty sick. Um, and we're keeping the best part for last. But this is, yeah, room number two. Again, you spin the camera around. It's got its own bathroom, slightly bigger bathroom this time. They've all got their own shower and bathroom and everything, so every room's independent. Pretty cool. Now I believe there's four guest cabins. You can sleep nine on the boat. <laughs> this is another slightly more classic kind of blue room. With this actually has a really good bathroom. See right here? And different finish on the shower. And double um, sinks right there. So his and hers sinks. How, how am I doing on my yacht tour, Manuel? Not bad, not bad. Not bad? Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, here we go. This is, this is really cool. So this is the writer's room. So see, it's all done with kind of newspaper-esque um, text all around the room. Really cool finish. So as you can tell, every guest room will have a theme. So then it's also easy to recognize if someone says, uh, yeah, I left my phone charger. You can just say in the red room or in the writer's room and everyone knows where it is rather than having to say second floor, third door to the right or third door to the left. It's a bit confusing, I guess. And I never had that problem, but I guess you get that problem on these kinds of boats. And yeah, another pretty cool bathroom. What's interesting is everything's different. So usually a lot of these boats, I guess, will kind of feel hotel-like because all the rooms are the same. Whereas this, every bathroom, every room has its particularities. So yeah, then, then we'll come through to the main salon area. So through here you'll have all sorts of crew quarters, um, galley, kitchen, basically. Uh, and here is what's called a day head, which is a bathroom if there's people over for dinner or anything like that, they can come straight to this bathroom. And then here is the main living room. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, You've obviously got a really big dining table. This is really, this is great for entertaining. The whole boat's kind of being thought out for entertaining. So this is your big lunch, your big dinner. You've got a massive bar area. Do I look legit behind the bar? <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, it's huge. Is it kind of lose track that you're on a yacht? Yeah. Um, then nice chilling area here, and then the main living room. With a big TV. Yeah, this is fantastic. Then we're going to go outside, so there's a big dining table. It's actually being used right now. But we're going to just quickly, if you keep the camera rolling, we're going to go down straight to the final kind of pièce de résistance at the bottom. And then how cool is this? This is, I guess, the beach club, the kind of hangout area right next to the water. You've got a bunch of toys, so these are sea bobs. We were lucky enough to try these out this summer, right? Yeah, Together. it was so really cool. cool. So you hang on to these and then you can go under the water and everything. Pretty cool sunbikes. And, and, coming with me here. Ta-da! This is what I was most surprised to see. A full-blown gym at the back of the boat. So come in. You have all the, yeah, all the gym equipment. I mean, look at me. I'm obviously no expert in gym equipment either. <laughs> but you do have a spa. This I know more about. So this is more my area. So you have a sauna on your boat. And, whoa, a huge shower. Well, like, look at the size of that rainfall on the shower. Can you see that? It's nuts. Anyways, yeah. So I've often seen photos or videos of these boats. And I've kind of always wondered what it's like inside. So I thought, seeing as we're on one, why not do a little video? Oh, is it better this way? Mm. There you go. Mine was getting the lighting and everything. 
because uh, yeah, I'd never really known what it was like on the inside of these. Thought we'd show you so very different to what we usually do. But you know, huge thank you to Subiotes Monaco for opening up the boat for us. And I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you want more of these. We can maybe put more together. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, and thanks, Marion, as well. <laughs> <Thank> bye. <you. laughs> bye bye.